All right, so in this video, we'll be taking a look at VUR approaches, specifically the VUR only one four in Delaware County, which is Muncie's airport. Uh, so this approach actually presents a couple of unique different opportunities to talk about VUR approaches, uh, things that we probably haven't seen at our approaches, VUR approaches into Terre Haute. And the reason why is because this VUR is actually on the airport and that makes it a little bit different into how we actually have to conduct the approaches because uh, really the only way we can actually conduct this approach would be through us utilizing the initial approach fix of Muncie uh, VUR or we'd have to get radar vectors from uh, whatever point we were at beforehand to actually join the final approach course. So just taking a look at obviously the, uh, the initial notes, we'll make sure we're using the correct VUR frequency like usual, we'll taking a look at the approach course 143, which is actually the, the 323 degree radial, obviously because our inbound track to the VUR is our course inbound, and that would be the, the radial will be the reciprocal of that heading. So a 143, the reciprocal is a 323, our radial is outbound to 323, our inbound course is a 143, as you can see here. So landing distance is 6,000 or 6,500 feet. Touchdown zone elevation is 933, and airport elevation is 937. So taking a look down here at the notes, uh, looking at our notes for the approach when the local altimeter setting is not received, we're actually going to use Fort Wayne International Altimeter Setting, and we're going to increase all of our MDAs 140 feet. Let me take a look at our MDAs here in a moment. Straight in, uh, we're going to increase our straight in our 1-4 visibility category C and D and circling in category C to 2 miles instead of what it is now currently of, uh, I believe, down here we can take a look. And it's 1 mile, so I have to increase it by, or actually 1 and 1 half mile, so we'll increase it by uh, 3 fourths mile. And that's also, this is all applying if we do not have a local altimeter setting, we're using Fort Wayne's. So increasing our category D visibility to 2 and 1 fourth miles, so we're actually bumping it up by a full mile. And then um, when we use our uh, bow fix minimums, we're increasing straight in uh, 1 4 visibility category C and D, and category C to 1 and 3 fourths, and increasing circling uh, category D to 2 and 1 fourth. And we don't have local altimeter setting, we cannot use the VDP uh, if we're using the four way in altimeter setting. So, the reason why we have a breakdown between uh, up here and down here is this right here the bow fix minimums. And we'll talk about the difference between those two in a second. It's going to uh, determine what our visibility minimums are and also what our minimum descent altitude is going to be if we can identify a certain fix. And that's something we don't commonly see on approaches, but they do apply, they can apply to any approach, whether it's VOR, uh, RNAV, uh, localizer, and uh, we'll talk about why we util utilize a, a, uh, what's called a step-down fix, and we'll take a look at, at that here in a second. Textual approach, uh, misapproach procedures may climb to 2,600 in the left turn to the Muncie VOR and hold. All of our approaches down here, obviously, we can see those, just everything like, like usual. In our plan view up top, profile view on bottom, so plan and profile. Good to know uh, the difference between those two. Wow. Yeah. So up top here, taking a look at the uh, profile view, or the, excuse me, the plan view. We can see obviously we took a look at the radio already. The radio is a three two three degree radio with an inbound course of one four three. Uh, we can take a look here at our. Um, Misapproached our misapproach instructions, which is going to be just direct to the VUR back and hold. Uh, we can see that visually as well. And also the inbound and outbound course for the hold. Obviously, inbound course is a 143, the outbound is a 323 uh, when we're holding it over the VOR. So, what we're going to take a look at now is down here in the profile view. And this is where things get a little bit confusing on this approach specifically because there's a little bit of different factors that we don't typically see with uh, an approach where the VOR is off the field like Terre Haute. Typically, on a VOR approach, nine times out of 10, the VOR is going to be our initial approach fix, right? However, it presents a little bit of a challenge if the, or the VOR is actually on the airport, right? Because typically, like the VOR approach outside of uh, Terre Haute, we'd hit the VOR, fly outbound for a minute, turn back around, and utilize it as our initial fix and our final approach fix. So usually say IAF slash FAF, indicating that it's our initial approach fix 
and our final approach fix. However, the final approach fix can't be on the airport because that's where we need to figure out when you go miss or not, right? Because that's where a, a initiate or miss approach procedure at the airport or roughly around the runway. But on this approach, you can actually see uh, our missed approach will actually be at the opposite end of the runway, which is kind of unusual. However, since where the VUR is located on the field, uh, that's going to be the case. However, when we're shooting this approach, we're going to be utilizing the VUR as an initial fix only. The reason why is because it's on the field, so our final approach fix, uh, that's where the confusion usually comes, is because typically you'll have a Maltese cross indicating where that final approach fix is. However, we don't have that here, obviously, because the VOR is on the field. So the question remains is where is that final approach fix actually at? So when we utilize the VOR approach, initial approach fix to Muncie VOR, we'll fly inbound wherever, let's just say aircraft's down here, we'll fly inbound to our VOR, hit the VOR, and typically we want to fly outbound for a minute, right? That's pretty standard, fly outbound for a minute. However, when we're flying out of an airport, where we're on an approach, a VOR approach where the VOR is on the airport, one minute may not take us far out far enough to do our procedure turn. So instead of one minute, we'll actually do uh, a minimum of two minutes outbound, uh, depending on a headwind or a tailwind. We want to utilize that as well. Um, but if in a no-wind scenario, we'll do two minutes outbound. Then once we hit that two minutes outbound, we'll utilize our procedure turn as well. So we get that left turn to a 287, then we'll continue the rest of standard fly outbound for one minute to on a two seven or a two seven eight degree heading. Turn away from the barb, right? So we'll turn away from the barb at our procedure turn to a zero nine eight back inbound. We're gonna rear intercept our final approach course of a one four three back inbound to the VOR. And this is where we uh, had the difference between our regular VOR approaches off field and our VOR approaches on the field. Because since the VOR is here over the field, our final approach fix is actually going to be whenever we intercept our final approach course. So our final approach course inbound is 143. Whenever we become half scale deflection on the CDI, that's actually going to indicate where our final approach fix is. So technically, our final approach fix can be at multiple different locations depending on where we re-intercept that course. So if we re-intercept it back here, here's our final approach fix. If we're a little bit closer, this will be our final approach fix. It's just going to be wherever we actually intercept that final approach course because there is no physical fix as to where that final approach fix is. And some people will say, oh, well, well Bo, Bo has our, is our final approach fix. Well, technically it's not. Technically, Bohu is, our, is a step-down fix. And the reason we have a step-down fix is because once we intercept our final approach course, we can essentially descend to our MDA at up to 1,000 feet per minute, right? So if we intercept our 143 final approach course roughly here and we want to descend to our MDA, if we're not using this step-down fix, we could go from our final approach fix intercept straight down to our MDA of 1480 at a maximum rate of 1,000 feet per minute as fast as we wanted to up to that, at that rate of descent and maintain that all the way to our missed approach point. Which is, the, which is the Muncie VOR. Uh, however, if we wanted to get a little bit lower, if we had DME equipped on the airplane, right, we can see here DME identifies Bohu and also our VDP, which we talked about in the ILS and localizer uh, video. If we were able to identify this fix here, Bohu, we can essentially step down and uh, control our rate of ascent to a lower altitude to get us closer to the airport. So. Let's just say we're doing our procedure turn, turn left to 287, turn right to 098, intercept our 143 degree radial inbound, or excuse me, 143 degree course inbound, and then we start descending towards uh, Bohu. Let's just say we're over here about you know, five miles from the Muncie VOR. We start descending the aircraft down to 1480, and we're going to hold 1480 until we hit this fix of Bohu at 2.9 DME from the Muncie VOR. So if we're holding 1490, so there's our start point down to, or 1480 down to this step down fix, then we can utilize that step down fix. And once we hit 2.9, we'll descend then again down to our new fi or Bohu fix minimums, as you can see down here, of 1380. Then we'll descend from this fix here to 1380, and then we're gonna maintain that until our missed approach point of the, uh, the Muncie VOR or the uh, the VDP of 2.1 nautical miles from the Muncie VOR, or which is also 
1.3 nautical miles from the end of the runway. So essentially it's creating a um, more sta a, a, a stabilized environment for us to just send the aircraft rather than just going from you know, straight from 2500 straight down to 1480 at 1000 feet per minute. We can now descend at uh, 2500 to 1480 to Bohu and then down to 1380 which is 100 feet lower than our, our uh, non-DME uh, fix uh, minimums to 1380 and then we'll hold that until either we see the runway at the VDP or a misapproach point of Muncie and we'll climb to 2600 and a left hand turn direct back to the Muncie VOR and hold and it looks like we'll do uh, just a it looks like probably a parallel entry here or excuse me a teardrop entry into the hold we'll begin our one minute holds at the VOR until our expect for their clearance time or we'll begin our approach uh, with the uh, radar vectors around. So obviously, just like any other approach, we can do the full procedure using the Muncie VOR, just like we talked about, or we can utilize ATC as our, uh, to intercept our final approach course. So just like we can, uh, we, we can always do at home in, if we have uh, radar uh, or approach radar, we can have approach uh, vector us into our final approach course and then just conduct the approach straight in rather than doing the full procedure. So that's the difference between the two minimums is we have, if we can identify this fix here using DME off of the VOR, then we can utilize lower minimums because we can identify this fix. We can wait till 2.9 DME. We can go to 2,500, go down, establish our final approach course to 1480, get to this fix and go 100 feet lower until our VDP or missed approach point. However, if we can't identify that, we would just go from out, a, we'd hit the VOR, at 2600 to send to 2500, fly outbound for two minutes, do a procedure turn, reestablish our course back inbound, descend to 1480, we'll hold 1480 all the way to the VDP or the missed approach point. So essentially it is a way for us to get a little bit lower utilizing a step down fix. That's what's called a step down fix. And that's what's important to note because uh, it's a uh, question that commonly will come up on stage checks and check rides. And also, real quick, we can note this little asterisk here. That's just kind of going back and referencing what we just read in the notes. So if we don't have the local altimeter setting and we have to use uh, Fort Wayne's, we're going to have to use different minimums, right? So instead of using 1480, if we go back up here, we'll have to increase all of our MDAs by 140 feet, which brings it up to 1620. So instead of 1480, now our minimums at this fix here is going to be 1620 if we do not have a local altimeter setting being received and we have to utilize the Fort Wayne altimeter setting. So going back up here just real quick taking a look all of these notes here are all pertaining if we do not have our local altimeter setting and essentially is breaking down the different uh, increases to our either MDAs or visibility requirements for the approaches defend depending on what equipment we have on the airplane. So everything inside this section here is pertaining to if we don't have DME, we can't identify Bohu. And if we can't identify that specific fix, everything inside the bottom portion here will, or will pertain to us because this is saying, if we can identify this fix, Bohu, we're gonna increase our visibilities category C and D and circling categories C or C by one and three fours. So instead of doing uh, up here where it says two miles, we can reduce it by about a fourth of a mile visibility to one and three fourths. So essentially it's just getting us a little bit lower and a little bit lower minute, uh, visibility minimums for the approaches if we can identify this specific fix. So be aware and understand the difference between the top and the bottom minimums based off of the fix we can identify because that's a very common question. And also why we don't have a indicated final approach fix like we usually do on a non-precision approach by this Maltese cross here, it's because our VOR is actually over the or on the airport. So it can't all the if the VOR is on the airport, it can't be used as a final approach fix like it is in Terre Haute because we can't use the final approach fix that's on the airport. It has to be prior to the runway, and we have to utilize that some by some other means. And so we'll utilize that by um, just intercepting our final approach course and and flying that down to our minimums using either the step down fix or we'll just go straight to our non DME uh, fixed minimums of uh, 1480 and if we do have DME we can go to 1380 
by stepping down at bow and then going down to our missed approach or minimum descent altitude. 